All right. Hopefully, uh, I'll remember to switch the order of these because uh, my XMP3 player that I love uh, sometimes does like to fast forward through uh, the hour I'm listening to to the next hour and skip ahead another 30 minutes. It jumps ahead in the, uh, the show an hour. So in any case, uh, I'm going back. If I rearrange them, then it'll be seamless. But uh, I just wanted to apologize. I snore, so I wear a mouthpiece, and my chin is now uh, misaligned, and I'm speaking with a lisp that uh, I haven't had since I got rid of it uh, after going to speech therapy in third grade. So, um, it's really annoying hearing it, and uh, hopefully I'm going to figure out how to not have it so messed up all the time. In any case, um, this should be uh, more interesting stuff about this lady's battle with uh, cancer and her use of Western and Eastern medicine to make it all uh, go away. Have a good day. And, you know, I'm going to comment here now, so enjoy. And this is really for the kids because uh, I don't get to see you guys. So I can't have these awesome conversations with uh, Sam, my nephew. Or uh, the older ones that are at college, Ray, Angelo, Michael, uh, Christopher's wrestling, uh, Sally is uh, young, but also hopefully she'll be interested in this. And uh, uh, Donna's kids, of course. Um, what do we got over here? All right, all right, Gabby and uh, Marissa. This is also for you guys. You know, if you're going to pay attention, hopefully uh, at least you guys will watch it. Uh, and maybe you'll pass it along. Maybe some other people will listen. You know, it's not about me. It's about uh, the knowledge. And that's what the show brings. So, coast to coast. Uh, put it in YouTube. Uh, it'll come up, Mr. Super Potato Tomato. He catalogs every minute of every show. Uh, enjoy. All right. So, we're back on. But Catherine, you're a little skeptical about some of the alternative cancer treatments, aren't you? Yeah, and you know, it comes back to this thing about using testimonials, because there's a certain percentage of people who will recover from cancer regardless of what they do, and there's a certain percentage of people who need treatment, and a certain percentage of people who aren't going to make it. Right. And if, if, if the person you are relying on to provide your cancer treatment, whatever it is, can't provide you with actual research that it's just because, quote unquote, the powers that be won't let him do it because they won't make any money. That used to fly, but it doesn't fly now that they're studying curcumin at MD Anderson. Come on. I mean, they're, they're studying things that work. If it worked, it would be getting studied. And if it does work, they can go to MD Anderson and talk to Barat Agarwal's boss and he'll do the research. So I, I'm skeptical whenever people say they don't want you to find the cure. I've worked with some of the most competent, skilled, and incredibly compassionate doctors and nurses as you can imagine. I've been in and out of all of their offices all year. And these people, in, in the deepest heart of their hearts, would give anything to have a cure for cancer. Even so, Big Pharma? Uh, you know, Big Pharma is a little bit different. I don't what trust Big Pharma. There, there's something that i got to say about them, though. If they can find a way to make money, because they're all about shareholders, mm -hmm. And if they can make money by curing cancer, they will do it. But if they can make more money by not curing of it, course. they'll do that too. I, I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm actually, one of the things that I'm, that I'm pinning a lot of my wellness on right now and attributing a lot of my wellness to is the fact that I got an experimental drug that is being tested right now that is cutting edge. It's one of these, you know, phase two clinical trials. And everything that they have shown about it, and I've read the research, I know how to read it, I know how to understand it. They've used this on thousands of women. I am one of only 160 women in the world who is getting this experimental drug right now. And when they have given it to metastatic breast cancer patients, they've done phenomenally well. And I'm excited about it, not because it's Big Pharma and I don't trust them, because it's Big Pharma and I know, I'm looking at the numbers, that the company that is making this product, by the way, I blog about this, you can read it, you can uh, kmashow.com and click the blog link, you can read about this. Well, but here's my concern about Big Pharma, Catherine. You, we both know that they will take an inferior drug, maybe a skewed research project, which they funded or did, and rush it to marketplace 
in order to generate sales, only to have the FDA a year later to yank it off the product because it killed people. That bothers me. Well, but what's happening in, in cancer, and I, I can't go into those other things because I haven't experienced them, but I can tell you with, in the issue with cancer that we are in a kind of a revolutionary phase in terms of the research and the understanding of the, of the disease. And I've got a video on my blog that actually talks about this. It talks about Herceptin, which is one of these targeted antibodies. And it is revolutionary because instead of using a one-size-fits-all treatment, they're actually identifying genetic markers on the individual cancer cells. This is really cool stuff. These are great doctors. And then Tari, yes, they're And researchers. Great. They are. And, you know, the people who are doing the research who are finding these targeted antibodies, they want to cure cancer. Oh, I agree with that. And they do. I agree wholeheartedly. I think most researchers would love to be able to find a cure for They do, kids. and they're looking. And again, that's how I keep coming back to Barat Agarwal and Curcumin. If he can research something as cheap as turmeric and actually get the funding and be doing, you know, dozens of clinical trials out there all over the world about this, uh, not that he's doing dozens, but they're out there, then you say people are looking for alternatives. And see, this is where I want to get back to, to my kind of marriage or integration of these two things. I did not put all of my eggs in that basket of chemo, radiation, and surgery. I knew that if I did that, that the chemo would be very hard on me. Let me tell you what I've been able to do because of, by adding supplements into my regimen, I have, my, my, my um, oncologist told me she's given me the toughest heaviest dose of chemo of anybody she's treated in five years and I am at one of the top cancer facilities in the country and the reason she gave it to me I'm young and because I'm handling it well and when you talk about handling it well now here's the key and this is what I was talking about before the break when when you go in for chemo they test your blood afterwards and they look for markers and they look for you know you've gotten a blood test back and if something's out of range they put a little star by it mm -hmm. So when I first was doing chemo, I'd get the blood results back, and everything would be start, too high, too low, out of range, craziness. And that's when they give you this new last to shot, this $3,000 thing to boost your immune system. So being mushroomers, my husband and I knew that medicinal mushrooms had been studied for boosting the immune system, not treating cancer, but boosting the immune system. And so he went online, and he found that in Japan they have a thing called PSK, which is an extract of the Coriolis mushroom. And this mushroom, which it, it grows in the woods around here, I know what it is, but I wouldn't know how to extract it or do it. I, I had a doctor on about a year ago talking about mushrooms, it's so I'm sure it works. It's totally fascinating. So what we did is we actually found, and my husband did all the research, we found that there's only one company in the U.S. that's selling the equivalent version of what's over there being used in Japan in the hospitals. They actually administer this in the hospitals, the PSK. He found a company that, that, offer, that, that creates this product that they're using in Japan, makes it available commercially so you can just log on and get it. I began to take it to boost my immune function, and all of those numbers snapped back into gear. Exactly. And my doctors were like, jaw dropped. How did you do it? That's great. And it was with the Coriolis mushroom. That is great. And, and, and what happens had you been on all these supplements even before you came down with cancer? Well, you may not have gotten cancer. The thing is, we don't. Uh, cancer can be so many different things, George. Cancer can be, you know, exposure to environment, environmental toxins. It can be exposure Anything. to too much hormones in the womb. And I think we all have it. You know, genetic stuff and yeah. It could be exposure to BT toxin from all the GMO food we've been consuming for the last thirty years that breaks down our DNA at the base level. The, the experts will tell you we all have cancerous cells. What, what the question is is what causes them to grow out of control. Exactly. And if people want to look at alternatives and they want to look at healthy lifestyles, they work. You know, the healthy lifestyle works to, to reduce your cancer risk. Absolutely. Were you under stress at all? Oh, yeah. Of course. Prior to. Yeah. I see, guess. I think that contributes a lot. Absolutely. To but see, the, the, once you have cancer and... and it, if you want to improve your lifestyle and add curcumin and do all these healthy things, by all means do it to not get cancer. But once you have cancer, then you've got to start making choices. And this is where if you're going to do the conventional treatments, there are things you've got to supplement in your body, and it's crucial to have that healthy immune system. That's the crucial piece, and that's the piece that a lot of people say, I don't want to do chemo because I don't want to lose my immune system. And you can, keep, you can do both. 
so the, the you know my husband like right now I've got I've got a whole shelf full of these because it was like a buy five get one free thing. <laughs> We've got Coriolis mushroom you know on the shelf. I take two in the morning. I take two at night, and they're part of a huge cocktail. You know I'm taking milk thistle for my liver function. I'm taking you know all these very <laughs> I'm taking all. Well, you're doing it right. I mean I I did that when I was 22 years old. I studied up on things like that. Exactly. And when you have cancer, though, George, i got to tell you, you're willing to put out the time and the effort and the energy to get it right. Well, you feel so, like time is uh, going by too fast. Well, and <laughs> it, it, it couldn't have gone by fast enough for me this last year, George. It was crawling. Yeah. <laughs> but but I, what I'd like to tell people, what I want to write a book about, this is going to be my year, 2012. I want to get all this on paper. I want to write down all the things that my husband and I did. You know, I am right now only 10 days out from the end of my radiation treatments. I went in daily for 33 treatments. And my doctor warned me, he said, two weeks after radiation, you're going to be at your low point of energy. You're barely going to be able to move, you know, a week or two out from radiation. I'm 10 days out, and I'm walking, and I'm talking, and I'm chewing gum, and I feel like a million bucks. And it's not, you know, it's, it's because I have taken care of myself and ameliorated, that's a big word, 50 cent word of the day, you know, minimized the side effects and all the craziness that goes with it, kept a strong immune system and kept my body working. So And relied on conventional therapy as well and some experimental exactly. stuff. And, you know, the conventional therapy vastly improves my chances of survival, like 30-fold. It's unbelievable when I read the research. This stuff really does work. And I know women who've had their tumors melted away by chemo. And so you keep the healthy immune system. You keep the, the damage that can accrue from the chemo from taking you down, and you're all set. And, by the way, uh, the, the company that I've been taking this product from since April, I've been taking this uh, Coriolis mushroom supplement, it never even dawned on me that I could, like, call them up. <laughs> so Did they know you? I was going to be on your show. I called them up. And, you know, just out of, they're over in Oregon. They've got a big laboratory there. Called them up. It's Mushroom Science. They're on my website, kmashow.com. Called them up, mushroomscience.com. And I said, listen, I have been taking your Coriolis supplement since April. I'm going to be on this big radio show. I want people to know if they're worried about their immune function and they're going through all the treatments that I'm going through, let them know that you're out there. And the guy, John Celine, who is their president, actually said, well, not only is that a great idea, but I will give your Coast to Coast listeners a free book, The Health Benefits, I've got it here in my hand, The Health Benefits of Medicinal, medicinal Mushrooms. I'm, I'm holding this book, it's awesome. That if people want to get this product, this Coriolis, it's super strength, and the key thing is it's got to be hot water extracted. He was explaining all this to me. I was like, oh. I, I tell this to my husband. My husband's like, well, yeah, that's why I buy from them. I'm like, uh, what did I know? <laughs> but anyway, it's got to be hot water extracted. They're the only company that does it, and they do the equivalent of this PSK product over in Japan. By the way, it's the only thing that's NIH funded. National Institutes of Health is funding a study on this. So let me tell you how you get your free book if people want to do this. If, if anybody is looking to boost their immune function to get through chemo or any other reason, it is mushroomscience.com and the coupon code, you're going to love this, George. He said, let's make it coast. So there's a coupon code to get a free book. I know, isn't that cute? That clever person. I know. Very, very cute. Well, you know what? There's so many things out there. This is the amazing part about all these things. Supplements, herbs, mushrooms. They're all from this planet. It's like this planet knows what to do to fight illness and ailments. Now we get back to God's green earth. Thank you. And, you know, the other thing, i gotta put, I got to throw one other thing out there. One of the bad things that happened to me through all this chemo treatment was they gave me a drug for nausea. And I took it because you, you, your doctor gives you a drug. You don't, you know, when you have cancer, you're like, uh-huh, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. <laughs> so I took it. And I actually became physically dependent on this drug to cure nausea. I didn't even realize it until I started doing some research and I said, oh, ugh. and I later went out there and just like I had done with the Coriolis mushroom and mushroom science, I said, what is it that I could have done instead? And I discovered I could have been eating ginger. That traditionally for millennia, people have taken ginger for nausea that I didn't have to be taking this pharmaceutical drug as to, to handle the side effects of the chemo, the nausea that goes with it. And then I found actually one of my favorite, um, I actually had this guy on my radio show a while back, is Chris Reed from Reed's Ginger Beer. You know the 
ginger ale people? Yeah. They make an anti-nausea product. It's 